Data of every description will pervade our consciousness. Holograms projected beneath our eyelids. Direct retinal stimulation. Welcome to the DCC Museum. Hi and welcome back at the museum. A package arrived today coming from Texas, Daniel Staudecker. We have recorded a previous video with him about his involvement in developing the DCC player for Tandy, the Optimus 2000. We saw quite a bit of paperwork when we were at his house. He promised to send it to us. He did today. The package came. He made a copy for himself, but all the originals are here. And I wanted to share what's inside this package with you. These are the briefs from early 91 and 92 of the uh, meetings. We will scan these and make these available. We either will do some form of book or a digital section on the website where we would be able to collaborate and share these with you. If you have any comments on how we best could do that, a book will be expensive, but we have over a thousand pages, I guess, in pictures and documentations that eventually we need to share with the community. It's allowed now. So write us in the comment section what you think how we should share that. And then this is something I'm really looking forward to. These are two plaques of the patents that Daniel owned, Daniel and in this case, Frank M. Mimic. So he had uh, he has signed them and these plaques are going up to here on the wall at the museum. This is the other one. Again, Daniel Staudecker and Frank Mimic of the Tandy Corporation. Date of patent, this is May 9, 1995. And this was filed January 14, 1997. Then in the next binder, I would call A0s of schematic diagram of DCC digital 2 interesting is made by Marantz in Japan it's about the SAA 2021 etc etc very cool very detailed we've seen these before but never in this size then the Technical transfer, but I'll show it like this. Technical transfer by Phillips. So he wrote a little note that this started in March 91. March 91. And Daniel joined in April 1st, no fools, 1991. So this is the very first meeting they all attended in this project, DCC Tandy in, what is it? February 1991. And it discusses the processing board, the recorder unit, And then of course we have seen that in the previous video. This is the original design and computating book. All of his notes on the project that he worked on developing the Tandy DCT 2000. And this last binder. 
Yes, okay. This is the manual of the DCT2000. We have it, but this is from the uh, Tandy library. Always interesting. This I'm very excited about. This is the DCC communication PC software. This is the software that he used to hook his computer up to the 350 mechanism that we've also shown in a previous video. So we hope that the software is still on here. We can just extract it from the disk and maybe we can do something with it. And yeah, this is what I wanted to, to show you. This is a complete set, as I think, of all the SAA 2011, etc., 2021. So it's a data sheet of the integrated circuits, uh, integrated circuits, yeah. SAA 2041, SAA 2051, 21, 2031, two copies of that, 2051, and then of course, very importantly, the TDA 1316 right amplifier and TDA 1317 read amplifier. We don't have these, so most of these will make it for us to have a complete set of the data sheets. Very cool to have. This is some copies of the, uh, of the data sheets. So all in all, we're very happy with this. And again, we will share this in some form uh, with you because that will help us to give a better understanding on how the C player works, how we can potentially reverse engineer it and how we can modify or mod a player to make it more 21st century even. Hope you enjoyed this video. See you next time. Mm -hmm.